Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. So emergency change request should be created for P1 problem only. That means if the problem record has P1 priority, then emergency change should be created else not. That means that button should be visible only for priority one problems. So let's see how exactly you can configure this in our personal developer instance. So for that, we will go to problem. So I will go to any existing problem record. And if I open this one, now here we have priority five. And if I right click here, you can see I can still create emergency change. But our requirement is this emergency change should be created only for priority one. So for that, I can just right click here again, go to UI actions, and I will directly go to emergency one. And we have this one here. So if I go here and here I can just go a little bit bottom. We have this visibility condition. So what I can do, I can just mention and and current dot priority equal to equal to and this is one. That's it. If that's the case, then only I should be able to create emergency change. So I will go to problem record again. If I click here and you can see we have this priority five, right click here. You can see now I don't see any emergency change button. So in that case, that means I cannot create emergency change from this problem record. And if I select any P1 problem, so let's select any P1 problem. And for that, I can just maybe pull this field so that at least I can see which problem is P1 problem. We have this one. So if I open this one and I right click on this, I think it's not loaded completely. Yeah, you can see here. We can create emergency change because priority is one. So that's how you can configure this UI action, basically creation of emergency change from a problem ticket. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.